What's up everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the Darth Vader drop on VV. I did not get the ultra rare so I'm going to talk about my game plan as well as my price prediction that I made for it and how it's completely destroying it. Let's get into this. So Darth Vader dropped over the weekend and I actually got one on the drop and one on the rebound. So I got the common and the uncommon on the drop. I did not get an ultra rare. My wife also got a common on the drop as well. So out of the three, we did not get an ultra rare and I had created a price prediction for this drop. And I just wanna talk through that price prediction because I was way off and I feel like I has been on a roll with my price predictions and being really good with them, being at the market so down, so unpredictable, but this Darth Vader completely blew my price prediction out of the water, and I just want to think about what I can do going forward. So I just wanna talk through the hype that is surrounding Vader at the moment, what I think is gonna happen in the future with this Darth Vader Ultra Rare, and my gameplay because I really want to get in on this Darth Vader. Leading up to the drop, I actually loaded up more gems and I haven't done that since December. So this has been a long time since I've actually added gems to the platform. But I thought, you know what? I really want this Darth Vader Ultra Rare and I'm going to load up the gems that I think is necessary to be able to get it. Now with those gems, I ended up loading up on a bunch of Star Wars things. I bought all of the Star Wars things on that have been recently dropped, so no R2-D2, no C-3PO, minus the comic secret rares. So I picked up everything and I was ready to go for this Darth Vader drop. I feel like things were at a low leading up to the drop, so I thought it was a good time to get in on them because perhaps we were in a gem squeeze for the Darth Vader and things would start to pump after the Darth Vader had been dropped. And I did fairly well with that. I continued to flip things leading up to the drop as well as after the drop. And now I'm just left with everything but the two secret rare comics and the ultra rare Darth Vader. And obviously Star Wars is a big thing for me for collecting and especially for on Vivi. So I want to get those three things still. But here's my thinking behind what I'm going to do with Darth Vader. First off, I really think there's a lot of hype around the Darth Vader Ultra Rare. I do think that it's a very valuable piece and it will be very valuable going forward with Vivi, but I question as to why it's worth what it's worth and if it's going to continue to hold that value. I don't think it will. I think we will we'll see a decrease in the price of Darth Vader. Now the market is the market. This is just my thoughts, my own opinion. This isn't financial advice. The market will decide what Darth Vader is actually worth. But I look at all the Marvel drops that we've got of these premium digital collectibles and I think that as things become more flooded of Marvel digital collectibles, the less of value they are. I do think that as more Star Wars digital collectibles are going to be released, I'm assuming so in the future, and I don't know when that might be, but I question like, will Luke be a grail? Because Luke is the main protagonist of that Star Wars trilogy, the original story. Is Luke going to be a grail? Is Anakin Skywalker going to be a grail? Is Leia, is Han, is Chewie, are all these iconic characters going to be grails? And is Darth Vader just a grail? Because we haven't seen more Star Wars digital collectibles on the platform, and as more come, is this gonna water down everything that's Star Wars on the platform and bring things down to realistic levels. To be honest, I don't think it'll have that much of an impact, especially because we don't know when that is going to be, when that is going to happen, but I do think it will have an impact, and I think that Darth Vader will continue to be a grail just because of the iconic character that is Darth Vader, probably the most famous antagonist, and what Darth Vader represents. I think that's the reason why we are seeing Darth Vader being called a grail and going to continue to be called a grail. Not to mention very low edition amounts for the first Darth Vader drop in general because usually if we see those Marvel digital collectibles we get the common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, secret rare. This one only got the common, uncommon, and the ultra rare. So being that Darth Vader is the only ultra rare animated, no secret rare animated, we don't get the rare. I think that adds also value to not only the ultra rare but also the common and the uncommon for this. Now my thought 
process on this in the short term is that it will come down in price. How much? Nobody knows really, but I'm hoping sometime I can pick it up below 1,000 gems. That is my hope. I don't know if and when that will happen, but with this Vader hype behind us and it'll slowly start to soften downwards, I believe, and especially with people coming back to Vivi, if we go into these decon drops of these artists and these go below retail, people will then start to get away from Vivi even further thinking why are they getting these drops and they're going below retail and we'll get into that downward spiral once again with Vivi and not to mention the market in general not Vivi as a general whole but the markets the recession whatever it might be I think we're going to continue to experience this and we're going to continue to see a downward trend in markets in NFTs in cryptocurrency in general until we get behind what's going on in the world right now so that's my thought process and why why I'm going to hold off of getting into the hype right now for Darth Vader. I'm going to hold off and I'm going to get it a bit cheaper if at all possible. Now I know it's completely possible that it continues to go up and it creates a foundation level of where the market believes that it is worth. So that could be a complete realistic thing that happens and I'm willing to take that risk. That is my game plan. You should create your own game plan for this Darth Vader. Let me know how you did on the drop. Did you get Darth Vader? Did you get the Ultra Rare? Did you get the Common, Uncommon? Did you purchase the Ultra Rare in the aftermarket? Leave your comments in the comment section below. I want to know how you did on this. I want to know your game plan if you did not get it and if you decide to pick it up later or right now. Are you going for it right now? Leave it all in the comment section below. Like this video if you found it helpful for whatever reason and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.